Pipeline! The Interstate Pipeline's Mountain Valley, Atlantic Coast, and Appalachian Connector, proposed to cross the Virginias, are a microscopic representation of the disruption the fossil fuel industry is causing, both nationally and globally. has arrived. You are the cavalry. That's it. We don't want these pipelines. This isn't activism. This is self-preservation. The climate is changing. We see it in historic flooding in Hampton Roads, record asthma rates in Richmond, plummeting biodiversity in the Appalachian Mountains, droughts all around the world, record heat levels. Yet we have a media that still views these facts as debate. We must stand and say no more fossil fuel infrastructure, no more pipelines. And we will represent our state in Paris this winter at the United Nations Climate Change Conference, where the for the first time in 20 years, the UN will form a universal and binding set of rules on climate. So I'm really glad that we're all able to gather here today to assert our values as a community at the intersection of students, community members, people from all over the state who are fighting. I do want to speak to my investment in the earth and the responsibility that I feel towards protecting it. Um, I value the water, I value my health, I value the health of this community long term. I do not want corporations like EQT and Next Air to speak to my values. In the blue hills, the green hills, the cool Russian water, with my beautiful daughter and my darling young son. We do not want the pipeline coming through here. And it's not enough just to say no. You got to act. Now what can you do about it? There's a little thing called the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Virginia. They have the right to, the power to exercise eminent domain if they are an authorized utility. They're private companies. They're out to make profits, naturally. That's what Private companies do, unless and until they get a certificate of public convenience and necessity, they do not have the right to enter your property. The fact is, American Appalachian Power Company has acknowledged recently that solar energy will be less than the cost of coal and natural gas by 2019. Did you know that? In 2013, John Wellinghoff, chair of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, stated, and I quote, Solar is growing so fast, it is going to overtake everything. It is going to be the dominant player. End quote. Now the revolution starts in your heart, in your heart. Thank you very much. Keep fighting the good fight. You have the right to exclude anyone and anybody from your property. If you've been affected by this, you may have received a letter, you may have received a phone call, you may have received somebody that, that came to your home and told you that, oh, hey, you're going to get rich by this. Well, guess what? You're not. We know in California there's been 9 billion gallons of frack water injected into the aquifers and they're having a drought. This thing is insane. We're going to make a difference. Thank you all. Solidarity. My grandma, she lived in a small town in southwestern Virginia called Hayside in Dickinson County. And of course, that's coal mining region. And uh, she had the prettiest swimming hole back behind her house. Well, the railroad came to haul the coal out, and they took it all. Later on, my parents explained to me about eminent domain. Um, but now, the railroad's gone. It's just, it's not used. There's no swimming hole either. Sad scenes of destruction on every hand. Black waters, black waters running down through my land. If you have a solar spill, you have a day like today, isn't that right? It's really important that everybody join the resistance if you live in this area. It is your air, it is your water, it is your tax rates. Craig County has muscle. I'm not talking about this kind of muscle. I'm talking about James Spiney muscle, an endangered species. Get your smartphones out right now. Go to preservecraig.org. First thing that comes up is a petition that you can sign. 
That petition is going to go to the National Forest Service to tell, ask them to not allow it to cross the National Forest property. From West Virginia to Pennsylvania, let's stretch our arms longer than their line. We are caretakers, there's nothing here you can touch. Crystal Palace is nothing you can buy. Natural gas companies want our land whether we wish to part with them or not. They have greased the wheels to accomplish this by contributing to the election campaigns of every candidate running for office in the state and federal elections. Gas companies have been granted the opportunity to write laws that benefit them in the, in the energy sector. It's all pain and no gain. But I ask you, my fellow Virginians, shall we go quietly into the night? Now, one of the reasons I'm against fracking is, is because these companies have done things like made it illegal for us to know what's in those fracking chemicals. I believe that's crazy. There are legislatures that have actually said it's illegal for us to know. A town in uh, North Texas, Denton, for example, has said in its area that it doesn't want fracking to happen. The Texas legislature is going to move in, is going to say it's illegal for a town to have that kind of say, and the legislature is going to preempt that. To me, I just think find that intolerable and absolutely against citizens' rights to know what's happening to them, their aquifers, and their homeland. What on God's green earth are they thinking here? A pipeline ripping through trees and soil, I fear. This is their plan to rape the land. Lee Stewart is from Beyond Extreme Energy, and he is a face that you're going to be seeing in the future because he is going to be out there battling to save our planet. My friends, our water, property value, safety, and right to a stable climate are all being laid to waste for these projects, and FERC turns a blind eye. Resistance organizations are springing into action everywhere, shedding light on the industry as it continues to act surreptitiously, fast-tracking their extraction and transmission projects. May 21st until May 29th, Communities from across the United States are coming together and we are going to be bringing FERC the message that their circus needs to stop. We're calling it Stop the Furcus. Um, we're calling on them to listen to the people. Um, it's going to be a series of actions uh, involving art, music, um, blockades, chants, um, you name it, we're still in the planning process, but please go to the website www.beyondextremeenergy.org to find out more details and to sign up. We need everyone there. 19,708 signatures in opposition to Dominion's LNG Cove Point construction are submitted to the FERC. The presenters are not allowed to speak and rudely removed from the meeting. On May 7th, environmental groups led by Earth Justice file suit against the FERC for failing to conduct a rigorous environmental review before approving construction of the LNG export terminal at Cove Point in Lusby, Maryland. Stop construction Our at doctors, Cove Point. children and families Stop. are being harmed by the emissions that you're allowing to be put right into their neighborhood where they have to live, where they do sports, and they're breathing them in and it's causing them to have disease and early death. You're criminals. If we expressed ourselves through the proper avenues, they'd simply continue to ignore us as they have been doing. They're gonna put a stop sign on the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Go tell your neighbors, go tell your friends. We're gonna put a stop sign on the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Go tell your neighbors, go tell your friends. the biggest point of awareness is making sure that people know this is not a public utility service, that this is a private company that's infringing on our rights as citizens and as landowners, and we need to take a stand. Folks from Montgomery County, folks from Craig County out visiting, um, we're all part of the New River Valley and we're all in this together, I would like to think in one way or another. Um, mingle, talk with each other, 
We have some groups here. We have informational uh, booths. So this is how we change what happens in the future. This It's amazing that people um, want to gather and change things. I think that it's really important that we do it. This is just the first step and there's a lot more work to do. But, you know, when you can bring music and people together for a cause, I think it makes us remember who we are as humans and what we're supposed to be doing. And, and it feels good. And I think the more we do it and the more we gather and we raise our voices together, the more difference we can make. And um, so I'm truly honored to be here and be a part of this. Uh, it's a cause I really believe in. Um, you know, we're dealing with the same thing up in Massachusetts. The pipeline's going through there or they're trying to put it through there, but it's not going to happen.